What's up guys? Jay's Full Torque out here in this beautiful temperature. Beautiful temperature. This is a 2007 SDI. Um, this car is actually really important to me because I've uh, this is a car I've had for almost 10 years. So I bought, this is one of my first turbocharged cars I bought and spent way too much money on it when I didn't have any money to spend and you know, live that super dream like a lot of kids out there. So it's been with me for a long time. It's, she's got about 55,000 miles on her, mainly because it's broken all the time uh, throughout its career. Super life. Done a few things to it. So I uh, used to run this in the drag, I used to drag race it. it, had a big single turbo setup on it and it was about 960 to the wheels on a Mustang Dyno. Um, and so I had to cage it, although because it kept kicking me out of the RMR track that we had here in Utah before they closed it. So I ended up caging it, didn't really want to because, I mean, if you look at the car, I don't really have uh, any gauges. I kind of I kind of like that really clean look. So the cage obviously now makes it look a little more racy, which is which is fine because that's all it really does. A couple things on under here that we'll talk about. So I changed the car because now that I don't really take it to events and drag race it anymore, I figured, hey, I'm sick of not having boost until 5,500 RPM but I still don't want 300 horsepower. So we figured out, I have a simple performance in here in Utah, we figured out kind of a Frankenstein setup. Obviously still have my big single turbo that made you know close to a thousand wheel. Um, but I figured, hey, if diesel trucks can, uh, you know, get good spool up and compound turbos, why can't we do it with a Subaru? So we did a compound setup with a 3076 Garrett turbo, um, which is very hidden in there, but it is there. Uh, still working out the bugs. I mean, we just kind of finish it. I mean, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if the car's going to explode. It has an IAG Stage 4 block in it. So far, it's holding. Uh, it's an AM Affinity uh, standalone ECU tuned by JR here in Utah. So I did do dual a dual injector setup. One of the first setups that Radium uh, came out with just this year. So that's kind of cool. We actually ended up targeting 36 pounds of boost at 3,500 RPM. So it is really weird how quick, it pulls like a V8 does, if not quicker. It's in power really quick. The torque is super, comes on really strong. Um, I don't know if the motor's gonna take that, but it seems like it's doing it right now. So anyways, uh, it's about 800 wheel, uh, but with that quick spool up, it's super fun street car now, which is kind of what I wanted. So we're just gonna go and uh, do some driving with it. I don't know, it's really cold right now, so it's, it's making more boost than we would like um, with the cold weather. So we're just gonna do a couple, you know, little flybys and maybe do a little launch, see how it does. I haven't really tested the car too much, so see, see what happens. That thing sounds crazy. Jeez. You gonna race it in the RS? Oh my gosh. Should yeah. we revisit Subaru STI versus Focus RS? I won the first race, but I'm not so sure about the second one. <laughs> we'll do it. We can do it.
These are drag tires. They won't work. This is like the only car I've never been able to get to spin. Dude, it's one grippy girl. I know, triple eight R's all the way around. Good for drag racing on the street, but not good for ripping donuts, which makes sense. I mean, I could push it and drop the clutch, but I don't really want to do that with all, because the center the center, uh, center diff on these is pretty weak. All right, well, we got miles in the car. We obviously failed at trying to get triple eights to break loose, but we warmed them up good. Yeah. So, seems like a good time to test the launch control setup on this car. We'll do some launches. We're also going to point out that caged cars are for helmets, so. <laughs> This is a nice steel bar, and if I go forward, this is a nice steel bar. Oh, Aaron's getting loose. All right, all oh, right, there we go. All right, here we go. We were just in time for me to not film any of it. Wow, this thing's aggressive and loud. to do a quick roll in the old RS. Yes. <laughs> a second gear roll against the STI and uh... Ah! What? <laughs> You're gonna lose. It's all about confidence, right? Yeah. 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 Just believe. You gotta believe in yourself. Come on, girl. Come on! You got it! Well, Aaron's feeling pretty confident because he uh, beat the uh, Jared's STI in the last video, so he wants to do a roll with me in second gear since he's got that bad boy RS. That's actually the first time I've ever went and beat on the car that hard and it didn't break. Knock on Subaru. It ran good. Uh, I'm impressed with it. I don't know what you guys thought, but I mean, from what I'm used to, I've never experienced it. Like street driving, launch control, getting a boost within one to two seconds. Triple A R's are really sticky, figured that out. But yeah, overall the car runs good. The only downside, just to be honest, like the car has issues with blow-by. Um, it's a new IAG motor. So I don't know if there's something with piston to wall clearance that's creating so much blow by. I mean, I've got their biggest I, uh, AOS that they offer. So I don't know why I'm getting blow by on the car a lot, which is frustrating because you lose a little bit of oil when you do that. Um, but other than that, I, th I think it's just the compound turbo creates so much pressure down low um, where Subaru's never not used to seeing that, right? If you're gonna get 45 PSI, that's like a big turbo setup to be able to do that. But to be able to have 35 PSI, at 3,500, 3,700 RPM. I don't think this engine is designed for this setup, uh, this compound setup, that's my opinion. But overall, car's a blast to drive. It's violent, it's super scary, and it beat an RS, so ha, ha, take it, Aaron. Just let us know, guys, do you guys want us to run this car against any of the cars that we have on the channel? Would that be an interesting race? I mean, I know it is a Subaru, it's not a supercar, but it's decently fast. What car should we race? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, hit that subscribe button, notification. 